This episode of Darkest King is brought to you by the Bakugan Wiki. For more information, go to www.bakuganwiki.com or find the link in the description. Bakugan Gen 3, let's go! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting too ahead of myself. What is Bakugan Gen 3? Stay tuned. You're going to find out really soon. To put it simply, Bakugan Gen 3, or its unofficial name Bakugan 3.0, is the first season of the third generation of the Bakugan franchise. This season dramatically restructures the Bakugan brand, replacing and changing significant features of the toys, products, and overall gameplay. Before I tell you about Gen 3, Let's take a step back and let's see what happened prior to Gen 3. Let's get into it. On June 14, 2023, the official Bakugan social media pages updated their imagery to reflect the third generation, and promotional videos were uploaded during the rest of June and July to tease the new show's characters and themes. Bakugan Gen 3 introduces an entirely new gameplay for the franchise. While the full extent of the game is not currently known, the ver this version of the game is no longer using the TCG format of the previous five seasons, moving towards a game that will utilize a split card system. Bakugan released during the third generation are exclusively designed to facilitate being separated into two halves, similar to Baku Tech in the Bind system. Special attack Bakugan also come with power rings. Diamond Bakugan make a return in Gen 3 alongside the introduction of two new rarities, Galactic and Infinity. Galactic Bakugan come in a translucent purple plastic, and the design of Infinity Bakugan is currently unknown. Bakugan no longer uses the faction system from Gen 2, instead adding a new set of symbols called clans, which generally, gener generally various species or designs of Bakugan in which Bakugan are assigned a clan, which does not change no matter the color or special type. You may be wondering, dear viewer, what are the clans? What are their descriptions? And I'll tell you that right now. We have the Aquatic Clan. The Aquatic Clan comprises of Aquatic Bakugan. We have the Avian Clan. The Avian Clan comprises of flying or otherwise airborne Bakugan. The Dino Clan. The Dino Clan comprises a prehistoric Bakugan. The Dragon Clan comprises of dragon-like Bakugan. The Insect Clan is comprised of bug-type Bakugan. The Mammal Clan is comprised of Bakugans that are stay on the ground like mammals. And my favorite the Misfit Clan. The Misfit Clan comprises of Bakugan or Brawlers who do not fit in any of other clans. This symbol appears on cards as a secondary clan, detonating that the Bakugan belongs to the Misfit Clan. In addition, the, quote, color of a Bakugan no longer has any connection to the clan differing the system from from the previous two generations. And here I'm going to tell you the the color schemes which will appeal to many or or none of you. So let's do it. First on the list is red. The color scheme for red is well, red, dark red, orange and yellow. Next up, we have blue. Blue's color scheme is blue, teal, light blue, and white. Next up is green. 
Green's color scheme is lime, dark green, yellow, and pale lime. Followed by white, which has, well, white, dark azure, light gray, and light blue. And last but certainly not least, black slash purple, which the scheme for that is black, dark purple, yellow, and silver. The third generation also introduced three types of cards to replace the card types from generation two. There's character cards, which are the la larger, quote, top half of the cards, which, the, which are the Bakugan themselves. There are special attack cards, which are the smaller, lower half of the cards. And there's brawler cards, cards with the characters that provide bonuses. Bakugan also introduced several sets of gate cards corresponding, corresponding to various clans. You have water inspired gate cards, you have avian inspired gate cards, dragon gate cards, dinosaur gate cards, insect gate cards, and mammal inspired gate cards. In addition with keeping the split theme, Bakugan also introduces special attack Bakugan, which have halves that can separate and combine with other respected Bakugan halves similar to Gen 1's Bakutech bind system. As far as product goes, most if not all of the physical aspects of the franchise have been redesigned from previous literations. Devin Mack the voice of Winton Styles alluded to a new anime currently in production, with the character, Griffin, being voiced by one of his students. A list on BNM's website for a so herded Bakugan core balls, seemingly for Gen 3, also mentioned a Netflix show. On June 14, 2023, the official Bakugan social media pages updated their imagery to reflect the third generation. One of these images was a shot of Dragonoid from the presumed upcoming accompanying show. I have high hopes that it will learn from the mistakes of both Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 1, the focus wasn't there. It was just to sell more toys. Gen 2, the TCG was sometimes absent like the big battle resurgence overstock that happened a little while ago. But I really hope that Bakugan Gen 3 doesn't end up like any of those. So tell me in the comments. I want to know. Are you excited for Gen 3? Are you excited for the new wave of products? Are you, are, do, does anyone even know about the Baku Tech Bind system? Who knows? Thanks for listening. I would say thanks for watching, but this is an audible retrospective of Bakugan Gen 3. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and get this video past 1,000 subs. Hey, who knows? I might make a Patreon. If I get enough subscribers, I'll probably make one. This is Darkest King, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>